Indeed, well, let's move on to PMQs uh, today. I mean, Keir Starmer is right, uh, maybe not necessarily in the windfall tax, that's up for others to decide, but he's right in the sense the Prime Minister doesn't have an answer to this, that the government is all over the place on whether a windfall tax on energy companies is a good idea or a bad idea. Yeah, I don't know whether the windfall tax is the point. I think what is the point? Uh, I mean, I visited uh, my local food bank in Litchfield. They kindly invited me and had a very constructive meeting with them, actually, very businesslike with some practical suggestions about how I can help. And what is very clear, and I've made this point today in a tweet, actually, so you know, I've done other tweets as well, is that Rishi Sunak has been in business just like I was in business, and cash flow is everything. Now, normally we would wait for a benefits up rating, you know, till the autumn. But with it being inflation at 9.1% now, we just can't afford to do that. People don't have the cash flow to, to pay for their through. bills, yeah. you know. So we do need things to move fast. Now, the Times newspaper this morning was speculating that there is going to be a rapid announcement. And if there is, I welcome it. But it's got to be sooner rather than later. Well, indeed, the Prime Minister suggested during the Queen's speech debate last week it was going to be within days. Uh, well, the week. Treasury oh, grinds oh, exceedingly oh. slow. It's not just Rishi Sunak. But, but, but on this windfall tax, uh, I mean, what I'm trying to get at is it is less whether you think it's the solution or not. It, it's more that the government hasn't made its mind up clearly yeah. about it. Yeah, the and Treasury... That, that, that's not great in the sense that, as you say, action needs to be taken pretty quickly. Yeah, exactly right. I mean, every dealing I've ever had with the Treasury about everything. So a friend of mine is the mayor of the West Midlands. And there are certain uh, applications that the West Midlands... And former head of John Lewis. Former head of John Lewis. And I always remember a former Chancellor of the Exchequer, Philip Hammond, saying to me, if other secretaries of state were as businesslike as Andy Street, I'd be giving them all the money that they wanted. But the Treasury does grind exceedingly slow. And I actually wonder at times whether it is because... Jacob Rees-Mogg is right, and half of them are working from home and feeding their cat. And now I'll probably get well, even more people well, on Twitter telling me off. I'm, I'm sure those hard-working civil servants would disagree. But, but just finally on this on, win, on this windfall tax, you know, it's enormously popular in the public it, with the public. Um, it's been done before by Conservative governments, yeah. including uh, Margaret Thatcher. It clearly would alleviate the pain, particularly for those at the bottom. Why not do it? Well, Boris Johnson, you know, privately, I'm not even sure it was that private. It was private. Hard luck, because I'm now going to tell you. Uh, Boris Johnson doesn't take a firm view on this. I mean, he's open. At the end of the day, it is actually a Treasury decision. But he recognises Margaret Thatcher did this. Uh, I think even John Major, I may be wrong. No, David Cameron. David Cameron did it. Yes, yeah. certainly. Uh, so it's not something that's against Conservative principle. Clearly, you don't want to make it so high that it deters uh, oil companies from developing new fields. On the other hand, if it's so little, which is what apparently the Labour Party are proposing, it will hardly raise any money at all. Well, and so it's got to be a balance that if we are going to do it, that it actually makes a difference. And I'll just pick up, if I may, on one other just thing. Just very quickly, very quickly. Very quickly. So, you know, Labour were a few weeks ago saying, oh, we should cut 5% VAT of fuel. Again, it would have made very, very little difference. It's catchy, but meaningless. Well, as another uh, large chain says, Tesco, every little helps. <laughs> but we'll see. Michael Favreau, thank you very much. Thank you.